respected learners i would like to demonstrate a single jersey derivatives it is a polo pico fabric it also known as double pico fabric widely used in polo shirt today i will show you the process about the identification of this fabric first we have to identify the face side and back side of the fabric this side is face side we can write here f f for face side and this side is back side face side of the fabric is like face of plain single jersey and back side contains honeycomb cell or hexagonal shells now we would like to unravel the fabric one by one coats before unraveling we have to mark a single well to identify the starting loop in this position so that we can draw the diagrammatic notation in the point paper i am marking a well with this pen single well so that we can observe what loops are present in this position now i will try to show you the knit and tuck loop this one is knit loop and this one is tuck loop tuck loop is clearly visible from the back side of the fabric so so this is the back side of the fabric and this time the tuck loops are clearly visible in this side these are tuck loop this is a tuck loop just like b here there are two tuck loops one and this one is second so this is knit loop and this is tuck loop and this is knit loop and tuck loop if we unravel a yarn we can clearly observe the knit and tuck loop so this one is knit and then tuck knit and then tuck knit and tuck knit and tuck knit loop is coming from its loop shape and tuck loop just straight out the yarn from its v shape so knit and tuck knit and tuck again knit and tuck knit and tuck knit and tuck so dear learners we have got a clear picture of knit and tuck loop from the back side in case of our first course knit and then tuck knit and then tuck again in the color position knit loop and then tuck loop knit and tuck knit and tuck so in case of first course this is the starting mark in the fabric and we will start from this position so first one is knit and tuck knit and tuck knit and tuck for the second course in the colored portion the knit loop is coming out then tuck knit and tuck knit now this time knit tuck knit tuck so this course is knit tuck knit tuck course again knit and tuck for the next course knit tuck knit tuck we have to see what loop is coming in the colored position this time the previous one is knit in the colored position is tuck again knit and tuck knit and tuck so the third course starting from tuck loop knit tuck knit tuck knit in case of fourth course the yarn is coming out this time the previous course is knit in the colored position that is tuck loop knit and tuck knit and tuck in case of fourth course we will start from tuck loop and then knit loop in case of fifth course knit tuck knit tuck knit tuck knit tuck knit tuck this time in the color position knit loop and then tuck knit and tuck knit and tuck so we got our fifth course starting from knit loop we will start from knit loop knit and tuck 
mid tag mid tag mid tag in case of six chords the loop from the color portion was neat and then tag again neat and tag neat and tag we got our sixth chords starting from neat loop in case of seventh chords this one is neat and color position there will be tag neat and then tag again neat and tag in case of seventh chords we have got tag loop so we will start from tag and then neat in case of eighth chords the previous loop is neat loop in the colored portion there is tag loop again neat and tag so we got tag loop in the colored portion so we will start from tag loop in case of course number eight so we draw eight courses here from these eight courses we have to find the repeat of this structure as we see in the first course need tag need tag then need tag need tag the same again tag need tag need tag need tag need in the fifth course the same thing is coming like one so five is like one six is like two seven is like three eight is like four so we got our repeat four courses is our repeat now we have to find the number of wells per repeat as you see need tag need tag need tag need tag so need and tag this will be the repeated again and again so only two wells will be the repeat of this structure so four courses and two wells is our repeat now from this repeat we will find out the camera arrangement and needle arrangement for this structure so four courses denotes four feeders and two wells denotes two track cam system will be required for this structure needle set out and cam arrangement for polopico structure as this is a single jersey derivative so it will be produced in a single jersey machine I am drawing a cylinder here. These are the needle trick where the needles are placed in the cylinder. As we saw earlier, the two track cam system will be required, so the needle will be two butt position. These are last needle and these are the butt position. This is the needle number one and this is needle number two and the cylinder will occupy with alternate needles so one two one two if there are two thousand needles but one position needle will be thousand and but two position needle will be thousand now i will show you the camera arrangement for this structure four feeders will be required for this design feeder number one feeder one feeder two feeder three feeder four these are the cam system, two track cam system. In case of course number one, first course and first well is neat. So there will be neat cam. And then tuck loop, so there will be tuck cam. K for neat cam, T for tuck cam. In case of feeder number two, the same thing. First one is neat and second one is tuck. So this will be neat cam, this will be tuck cam. In case of course number three, First one is tuck and second one is neat. So there will be tuck cam and second one will be neat cam. In case of course number four, first one is tuck and then neat. So feeder four will be same as feeder number three. This track is for needle butt position two. This will be for needle number, needle butt position 1. So thank you very much for watching this video. Next time in another video we will meet inshallah.